My name's Sharon Bettler and we're here out at Bucca. We're about 18 minutes north of Coffs Harbour. I unexpectedly inherited this property back in 2005. My partner and I decided in the move from Brisbane to come back down to Coffs because this is where we wanted to raise our family. So I now have 230 acres. So the forest stewardship through the local land services, the pilot program that they're running at the moment to help landowners like myself to educate us and to assist us in further improving the health of our forests for standing timber, infrastructure, pest and weed management. The opportunities that this grant is going to create is for the long-term future is having a healthy, sustainable forest. Because at the moment where we do have a lot of invasive weeds like the camphers, there isn't a lot of natives. It's very dense in some areas. So you're not having the natives come up. So it's just barren. This is now my full-time job and I've had to learn along the way because there is a lot of overheads to running on property. Unfortunately, the previous owner it got away on him, so we had a lot of problem with every sort of noxious weed that you can imagine, and it was very overgrown. We had a 12 foot high groundsel bush forest, and that covered a lot of these open paddocks here. Camphor laurels were introduced to Australia as a shade tree, but like any introduced species, they have just got in into our waterways and they have just taken over. All the campers are coming up and they grow very prolifically as well. So what that does to our native forest, our natural bush, we're losing our natural bush. The local land service, they offer a lot of advice and resources. So what we will be doing is we will be getting contractors in and a professional consultant to come in and help us to start thinning the bush, getting rid of all the timber that isn't viable. Uh, what we'll also do is fire breaks, doing a bit of infrastructure, which means putting a new road through as well. What we want to do is to try and produce a forest that can be harvested sustainably. And before the 2019 bushfires, I did a very big hazard reduction burn. I burnt off 100 acres. There was a lot of logging that had happened on the property probably for about the last 50 years. So there was a lot of fuel on the ground and I still have another 100 acres to go, but you're continually chipping away at it. And we're always looking at ways to improve the properties. Ideally, you'd like to make an income off your farm as well, because, you know, we want this to be a legacy for our children. So if they choose to, they have the opportunity. Back in 2014, the property was host to the Off-Road World Rally, and I had somebody approach me and wanted to know whether I was interested in if they could come and camp on the property. So that's how the camping evolved. That was the birth of Coffs Harbour Camping and Four Wheel Drive. And now we're actually one of the biggest hip camps in Australia over the busy period. So we have 30 acres here, if not more, of campground with lots of different sites. And we generate most of the income now through Gagri tourism. I'm very passionate about this land. You only have to look at my hands to <laughs> to see how hard I've been working on the land. I get a lot of satisfaction knowing what this property, how it was, because it was very overgrown. Probably more so people that come to the property can see how it's changed over the years. But when people come back and they say, wow, you've done this, and they can see the effect, yeah, I love it.